What's up everybody on YouTube? Today we're going to do something a little different. In my past videos, I showed you all the top all Python morph combos for each gene. Um, I didn't do all of them, but I did a lot of them. What I thought is the best stuff that's out there. I got to a point where I didn't have much left to do. I pretty much covered everything that could be covered. Now in these videos, I'm gonna start a new series called Breeder Detail. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my favorite combo today and show you how I think the breeder planned it out, the methodology behind it, what I think they did in order to plan out that combo. And what this is going to do for you and for me, hopefully, is give you a strategy on how to build a good combo. If anything, it'll help you come up with observations on different genes and how they work well together, if they work well together or not. So say you have a four gene combo and you take each one of those genes and you go and find pictures of, of two of those genes together and find out what they all look like. There's you know the four different combinations. Find out what two genes look like together, see if they work well together. See if, say, for instance, you take a pattern gene and you mix it with a color gene. Does the pattern show through the color? I think that's a really good thing to look for because if you can't see a pattern that you like through the color of another gene, then it may not be a good match. But and then also identifying what makes up a good combo like um, I, what I've found so far is that two pattern genes plus a, a color gene, color enhancing gene. Um, sometimes it's a combination of both. All right. So let's get started. All right. So here's my favorite black pastel combo. This is an orange dream cypress banana black pastel. It's purplish and orangish, and it's got some white pattern in the middle. Very unique looking snake. So I'm gonna show you the six different combinations of genes. All right, so the combos I'm gonna show you are black pastel and orange dream, and then I'm gonna show you what orange dream and cypress look like together, and then I'm gonna show you what black pastel and banana look like together. And then I'm gonna show you black pastel and cypress, and then orange dream and banana, and then lastly, banana and cypress. All right, so the first two genes that I wanna look at when paired together are banana and cypress. You can tell that it has a good contrast of dark and light, um, which I think is important when you're trying to make a, you know, a combination of genes fit together if you don't want one to be too light or too dark. So, uh, but the characteristics are it's got a yellow dorsal, dorsal striping with spots. And uh, that's bananas yellow coloring. And then you have cypress, more of a cypress type dorsal pattern. You know, the striping is uh, what cypress has and it does have some spots. And the, and the spots are more like swirls. Uh, the background coloring is dark brown, which is a cypress color. Um, so the background coloring on the dorsal and on the sides of the sides and top of the alien heads are dark, which is coming from Cyprus. Uh, the alien heads are yellow, which is banana color, and the or and are also orange, uh, which is banana and Cypress color, and are shaped much like banana and Cypress. So it's a mixture of both coloring and a mixture of banana and Cypress coloring and pattern, uh, but the spots come from Cypress mainly. Uh, the alien heads also have white border, which is a cypress characteristic. All right, so the next uh, pair I want to show you is orange dream and cypress. So starting at the top, the dorsal has some banding, which is an orange dream characteristic. Uh, there's some striping in there, which is a cypress characteristic. Um, the, the striping is yellow, and that's neither a cypress or orange dream characteristic, so something synergistic going on there. The background coloring of the alien heads and dorsal is black, which is um, a characteristic of Cypress and Orange Dream. The alien heads are orange, and that's mainly an Orange Dream color. And Cypress can, uh, has a little bit of orange uh, when it's by itself, it's kind of an orange hue, but when, it's, when Cypress is paired with other genes, it can create uh, more orange in the alien heads. Uh, the alien heads are shaped like Orange Dream and Cypress, so it's a mixture of both. Uh, but the spots come from Cypress. Uh, the alien heads have white border, which is a Cypress and Orange Dream characteristic. All right, so the next combination I want to show you is Black Pastel and Cypress. Um, 
One thing I noticed is that, uh, again, the coloring uh, is a perfect amount of contrast from white and dark. Um, it is predominantly more a dark snake, but it's still the right amount of contrast. The patterns go really well together. Um, black pastel is, is, is uh, pretty much the dominant pattern in this gene. All right, so the dorsal has some striping and swirls. Um, a lot of striping. And I think that's because black pastel and cypress both have swirl and striping uh, when they're by themselves. Um, so I think that's why you're getting more solid striping here. It's like half and half. Uh, so dorsal has striping and swirls, which is characteris characteristics of cypress and black pastel. Uh, the background coloring of the alien heads and dorsal is black, dark black, which is a trait of cypress and black pastel. Uh, the alien heads are fading from light brown at the top to white. Uh, the light brown at the top is uh, more of a cypress trait. Uh, black pastel is a dark brown at the top. And then towards the bottom is white. Um, it fades to white, which is a cypress trait and black pastel trait. The alien heads are shaped almost exactly like black pastel. Uh, some of them are merged together and morphed together towards the tail here. And um, I think that's because um, it's just a mixture of the two genes. That's just what happens. The alien heads have white border, which is a cypress and black pastel trait. It kind of has a little bit of white bordering on the side, but it's hard to tell because uh, the background is so dark from the black pastel and cypress. All right, so the next combo I want to show you is black pastel and orange dream. So uh, starting at the dorsal, it has beige, yellowish spots, um, which is bl a black pastel characteristic. It has some brown blushing and a black background, which is uh, orange dream and black pastel characteristics. Um, the alien heads are, they fade from brown at the top, which is an orange dream and black pastel trait. And then it has hints of orange in the middle towards the bottom, which is an orange dream trait. And at the bottom, it's white, um, which is a orange dream and black pastel trait. Uh, alien heads are donut shaped like black pastel, but they're thicker donut heads, which I believe is uh, influenced from the orange dream. Uh, the alien heads have white border on the sides and bottom, which is a orange dream and black pastel characteristic. So I think these genes go really nicely together. It's a nice mixture. I think they complement each other well and the pattern mixes well together to make a unique pattern. Uh, it has the right amount of light and darkness to it as well. All right, so the next combination I wanna show you is black pastel and banana. Um, I think that this, these two have a a huge influence on the overall look of the final combination, that, the one that I like the best. Um, the dorsal has orange swirls and some striping, which is uh, the orange, I believe, comes from banana, and the swirls and stripes come from black pastel. Um, the alien heads fade from orange at the top, which I believe is from banana, and white at the bottom, which is uh, a banana and black pastel trait. The alien heads are donut shaped like black pastel, but they have more circular and donut shaped, so it's more consistent. You can see these circles, they're donuts. There's more of consistent donut circular shapes, which I believe is influenced from banana. Uh, the alien heads have white border on the sides and bottom, which is a banana and black pastel characteristic. The background of it, uh, is almost the same color background as the uh, final combination I'll show you. And um, so I think that's really important to uh, note. And I believe it's one of the things that influenced Ozzy to create that combination. He knew that that background would probably be like that since banana is so overpowering. All right, we're down to the last pair. So this is Orange Dream and Banana. So we've got the right amount of contrast between light and dark. We have the dorsal has purple banding, uh, which orange dream banding, uh, orange dream has the banding that goes on. So that's 
dorsal is predominantly um, characteristics from orange dream. The orange dream dark black color mixed with the banana light purple color um, is what the banding color is. Uh, it has no striping and it has some blushing which is an orange dream trait. Uh, the pattern on the side is a mixture of banana and orange dream. Not much spots inside the circular shapes. Um, so orange dream pretty much doesn't have much spots in its shapes in the pattern in the middle. Um, neither does banana. Um, they both have white border orange dream so it has a little bit of white border on the sides and that that you can see in orange dream by itself as well as banana um, the background surrounding the dorsal stripes and the pattern in the snake is a dark purple which I believe is a mixture of the dark black from the orange dream and uh, banana being already a purple background and bananas going to overpower the background color and pretty much be the dominant color throughout any uh, mixture of if you mix banana with any of these genes. The final product has it when you see a uh, banana with black pastel it has a uh, dark purple black or it has a light purple dark purplish background. Uh, the banana overpowered the background color is what we concluded much like it did in the final combo. Uh, the hints of yellow in the pattern like the neck stripe uh, is a banana trait so at the neck you can see it has a stripe it's yellow uh, yellow comes from the banana. Um, the neck stripe and then uh, the tail has a stripe which is a banana trait. Uh, Orange Dream doesn't really have uh, the neck stripe, it just has the tail stripe. And a bit on the dorsal which, um, let's see, so you, some of the yellow that's in the pattern on the dorsal, see how it kind of is at the top. That, I believe, is from the banana influence. All right, so we're on to final thoughts. So I want to talk about predictability of this combo. Um, I think it's important to have um, a good idea of what each individual gene looks like with when it's paired with all the possibilities of the other genes. Um, so first I put uh, purple background. I believe it's, predictably, it's a predictable outcome, being that banana is so overpowering in certain areas of the snake. Um, so if we go to banana black pastel, black pastel is a really dominant dark color, right? Well, banana overthrew it, and you can see the purple background, right? Uh, let's go. Uh, the dorsal stripe, almost a complete stripe, I believe is predictable because black pastel and cypress um, both kind of have the same striping swirl action going on and then when you look at super stripe cypress uh, you get almost a complete stripe so as you can see it's almost a complete stripe when you have black pastel and cypress together if you look at um, black pastel and cypress together you get a lot of striping going on it's not a complete stripe but um, you still have a lot of stripes uh, the pattern in the middle is not so much predictable, but we saw in the black pastel and cypress that is an attractive pattern. Uh, let's see here. See black pastel and cypress, that pattern in the middle looks really nice. So um, we knew that the color was going to be different. It wasn't going to be like this color. So, um, and when you throw in other jeans, usually you get a different pattern. Uh, the pattern gets messed with just a little bit, you know, because color jeans like orange dream and uh, banana they're gonna influence the pattern a little bit right all right the dark color of the black pastel and cypress was taken away by the banana influence and um, you know goes back to banana being so powerful with color you know it's a color gene and an orange dream is a color gene so um, and I think that when uh, I think Ozzy might have known that by looking at the banana and the black pastel together. Um, before he made this combo, he thought, okay, well, if this black pastel is not dark with the banana, then there's a pretty good chance that 
uh, the combo I make is going to stay relatively close to this. And then, you know, by looking at banana and cypress together, it's pretty light, you know, it's got some darkness to it, but, um, you know, it still has a lot of light. So then, uh, when you see cypress and banana, you can see a lot of yellow, which tells you that, that it's more dominant in terms of color <coughs> kind of, um, so I kind of, kind of what I just said earlier is that, you know, bananas, it shows when you pair it with cypress that, um, the yellow influence is, it's going to show that it's dominant. The color banana is mainly a yellow snake, yellow and orange. So pretty good chance that your end combo is going to have, uh, orange influence uh, and yellow influence. Uh, black pastel and banana, you can see it's totally over through the color, made it a lot orange, and completely took away the black and made it purple, so I believe it would be predictable and then common to have without black and have a unique color palette. Um, another observation I made was that all of these genes mix well together, and uh, we know that by looking at each individual gene when they're paired with each of the other genes that are in the end combo, um, it doesn't make a white snake, you know? Um, if you look at all these... They all mix well together. Nothing's too dark or too light. Um, and then lastly, we know there's a good chance that orange is going to be in the final combo because there is orange in uh, almost every single one of these uh, two gene combos. See how, how orange this one is? Um, this one is the only one that doesn't really have much orange, but it's a light brown. Um, so you can see a lot of orange in this combo, banana and cypress, uh, orange dream and banana, a lot of orange, really. I mean, this is like the most orange two gene combo out of, out of the mix. <clears throat> Look how orange that is, cypress and orange dream. Um, and then this one doesn't really have a lot of orange, but it's light beige. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's a pretty good chance you could tell that then product would have orange in it because uh, banana is so overpowering. And um, when it was paired, when you showed it paired with others, those other genes, it showed that it was dominant uh, in color. All right, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Oh, um, and then if I miss, missed anything, leave in the comments down below. Um, I really want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Um, I think these videos are productive. Um, because it helps you get, um, it helps stimulate your mind into, into thinking a different way about these animals. And, uh, you know, you kind of have to th have to come up, I think you have to kind of come up with a plan. And the only way to come up with a plan is to kind of look at these genes and see how they interact with each other and come up with your own conclusions. Um, so, but I'm interested to see what you guys think about um, this, this format of video making. All right. See you next time.